Greetings. While waiting for my power amplifier, yes, I found a solution, and you'll probably see this in the next video. While waiting for that power amplifier, I decided to go ahead and design and print some enclosures for the different blocks of my system. I came up with this generic design. Basically, it's all PLA plastic. It's got four tabs to screw down the module. There is a ledge where you can sit the PCB and it will be supported by the lower part. And there's a cover that comes over and pinches that PCB. And it also makes contact for RF tightness. And then two end caps are installed and screwed. And the, the end caps hold the two pieces together. So that's the basic general principle. I designed this in FreeCAD. It was my first serious attempt at playing with FreeCAD. Before that, I had used OpenSCAD. But the more special features there are, the better it is to use a software like FreeCAD as opposed to OpenSCAD, which is like programming code-like. Uh, so I decided to take a bite on FreeCAD, and it worked fine. This is one implementation. So I've designed a custom box for each of the individual blocks. They all adopt the same principle, but they're custom in their size, of course. So one for the transverter, one for the tripler board, one for the low noise amplifier, and one for the synthesizer board. And another thing I've decided to do is add LEDs. Uh, so in the case of uh, the transverter, one for transmit, one for receive. And for the synthesizer, uh, one for, of course, power on, and one for synthesizer in lock, PLL in lock. And uh, the other two have power on, so you know they're fed with power when their LED is on. So uh, the end caps were generic without any holes. I drilled those holes later after I had printed the pieces. It's a long work because <laughs> in total I had 16 pieces to print and I screwed up a couple of times and this here is one of the screw ups. It was way too long. I forgot to uh, shorten the extrusion. This is the lower part of this this piece here but it was supposed to be for for the synthesizer so I forgot to change the extrusion length. So anyway it gives a good uh, example of uh, the print quality. I used the coarse grade, not the coarsest, but a 0.2 millimeter uh, thickness, which is the coarser grade, or I could probably say standard, not the fine, fine grade. Now for the inside, let me show you, because I kept one box uh, that can be open. Here it is. This is the transverter board. So I've decided to put some aluminum tape inside and it's the regular duct tape made of real aluminum. This one is getting more expensive by the years. I've had this for maybe 20 years and I use it a lot and it's a long roll of tape and it peels off the paper backing and it's self-sticking. So I've used this to basically wrap the entire inside including the edges here so that the end caps can make contact. I also put that tape on the end caps, the, the two end covers. Uh, like I mentioned, I drilled uh, the holes after printing everything. It was easiest to eyeball the position of my connectors and, and the feed-through capacitors because yes, I used feed-through capacitors on all the units. So the inside of the box is shielded, we can say that. It's probably not a perfect shield, but it's certainly better than nothing. As you can see, I've left some tape on the edges here, and the cover has tape also on its edges. And so when we press together, everything is sandwiched, and it touches, so it seals. And then with four screws on each side, 
uh, it will seal the, the, the entire thing and, and it's uh, you know, rugged as well. And I've also extended the bottom part, I've extended and wrapped around, so when I install this in the dish, it will touch like the aluminum surface of the dish itself, like inside the, the, the compartment. So all boxes will be grounded because of that. But I'll still use uh, ground wiring to bring the supply um, to uh, the boxes. So that's basically it. Very interesting exercise for me. It was long, very long, not just the printing, because yes, a piece like this takes more than two hours to print. But uh, no, it was the actual design itself and learning the free CAD tool took me a while. But for a first exercise, I'm really happy with the results. Um, and now I'm left with putting some uh, mark, uh, marking letters in, out, you know, power and so on and so forth. LED lock, you know, some wording, some lettering just to make sure everything's clear. And then I'll be ready to install those in the uh, dish enclosure. Uh, I know they work. I've tested them individually again after putting them in their uh, enclosure. And uh, so I'm ready to install them uh, in the uh, system. But uh, I need to see the power amplifier first and test it. Uh, because it's going to be a large unit, it will pretty much... Uh, have to have its own area and that will decide on uh, the positioning of the remaining units because it's the power amplifier is uh, larger than anything here. All for now. See you soon. 7-3.